hello guys welcome to my channel so whenever you click on play button on minecraft launcher to launch minecraft game if it is not doing anything when you press nothing happens then please follow the steps shown in this video now the first step is to run gaming services repair tool now for this go to xbox app top left click on your profile icon click on support option over here and then click on gaming services repair tool and then click on start repairing click on yes to allow and let the repair complete this process will take some time and once this is done now you can check you have to relaunch minecraft launcher and then you can check still not working you, know, you can run gaming services repair tool uh, from the website so you can in google search you can type in gaming services repair tool and then go to xbox uh, xbox support website and go to the official website and over here on this page you will see downloadable version click on it and then scroll down click on download the gaming services repair tool for pc and then you can run this exe file and then click on yes to allow and let the repair complete once the repair is complete you will see completed successfully and now then you can you have to relaunch the relaunch minecraft launcher and then you can check still not working uh, the next step is to verify and repair minecraft launcher now for this you can go to xbox app and then select minecraft launcher over here and then you can make a right click on minecraft launcher and then go to manage or you can click on this three dots over here and then you can click on manage and then go to files and then click on verify and repair and click on yes to allow and let the verification complete once this is 100 percent complete now you can launch minecraft launcher and then you can check still not working the next step is to create desktop shortcut and launch minecraft launcher as an administrator using the desktop shortcut now for this again click on these three dots click on manage and then click on create desktop shortcut now go to desktop here you can see minecraft launcher shortcut make a right click and then you can click on run as administrator click on yes to allow and then you can check now still not working the next step is to repair or reset minecraft launcher now for this you can type in minecraft launcher in windows search box and then make a right click on minecraft launcher and then click on app settings first of all click on terminate option over here and then click on repair once the repair is done you can launch the launcher and then launch the game if that does not work you can even reset reset and after the reset you can try to open minecraft launcher once again and then you can check still not working the next step is to uninstall minecraft launcher restart your computer and then download minecraft launcher from microsoft website now for this type in minecraft launcher in windows search box make a right click on minecraft launcher click on uninstall click on uninstall once again and once the uninstall is done now you can go to minecraft website the link is provided in the video description open this link in a browser and then over here you can see download for windows and then you can run this exe file and then you can install the install minecraft launcher from minecraft website and then you can launch the game and then check still not working uh, the next step is to try legacy version of minecraft launcher so if this one is not working in that case on the uh, on the same website uh, on the same website scroll down and then here you can see windows legacy so you can click on legacy and you can install the legacy version and once the installation is complete uh, you can launch legacy version and then you can check still not working uh, the next step is to delete microsoft local uh, microsoft store local cache files now for this open file explorer go to this pc open c drive now open users folder now open your username folder now open app data if you don't see app data at the top click on view select show put a check on hidden items and then open app data folder open the local folder open the packages folder scroll down and you will find microsoft windows store so over here you can see uh, microsoft windows store 
underscore some alphanumeric character open this folder here you can see local cache folder make a right click delete it and then you can relaunch uh, minecraft launcher and then you can check still not working the next step is to run this command this command is provided in the video description copy this command type in powershell in windows search box make a right click on windows powershell and then make sure that you run powershell as an administrator only click on yes to allow now paste the command over here hit the enter key this process will take some time and during this process you will see some errors in red color so if you see any errors in red color like this just ignore it let the process complete once this is done you will see everything red now restart your computer and then you can launch minecraft launcher and then you can check so let me launch the launcher once again so let it complete uh, let me try the normal one now it's still not working uh, the next step is to run ws reset command so type in ws reset in windows search box and then click on ws reset and this will reopen microsoft store and then you can check still not working the next step is to close minecraft launcher open my microsoft store in background log out and log in with same account on microsoft store so open microsoft store at the top right you will see a profile icon uh, click on it in my case i am logged out so in your case you would be logged in so make sure that you log out and log in so click on a profile icon then click on sign out and then you have to click on sign in select the account which has the minecraft launcher or which which has the game pass and then you enter the pin or password now go to xbox app top left click on a profile icon click on sign out and then click on sign in select the same account which you have selected in microsoft store and then make sure that you log in with same account on store and on xbox app and then you can launch the launch minecraft launcher and then you can check still not working make sure date time time zone is correct in computer so at the bottom right here you can see the date and time make a right click on date and time click on adjust date and time and make sure set time zone automatically if this is on set time automatically if this is off turn it on and then click on sync now once sync is done go to time and language and make sure your country is selected over here and then you can check still not working the next step is to make now install xbox identity provider for this copy this link the link is provided in the video description open this link in a browser it will take you to microsoft website on this website click on download and then click on open microsoft store and then if it is not installed you will see install button or maybe get option or maybe maybe update option in my case it is already installed so make sure you install this and then uninstall and reinstall gaming services so copy the first command and then type in powershell in windows search box and then make a right click on windows powershell and then click on run as administrator only click on yes to allow paste the command over here hit the enter key this will uninstall gaming services from the computer and once done copy the second command paste it on the same window hit the enter key this will open microsoft store and then you will see install button so hit install click on yes to allow and let the installation complete once gaming services is installed then you can launch minecraft launcher and then check so make sure this is installed first now still not working the next step is to run inet cpl.cpl command so type in inet cpl.cpl and then click on inet cpl.cpl and then go to the advanced tab scroll down make sure use tls 1.0 1.1 1.2 1.3 1 make sure all four are checked and then hit apply click on ok and then restart your computer and then check next step is to start all these services for this type in services in windows search box click on services and then find ip helper in the list make a double click on ip helper set this to automatic click on apply click on start if highlighted then click on ok now find xbox services so at the end here you can see four xbox services make a double click on each xbox services set this to automatic click on apply click on start if highlighted then click on ok again make a double click set this to automatic click on apply click on start if highlighted then click on ok set this to automatic click on apply click on start if highlighted and then click on ok automatic 
apply click on start if i directed then click on ok now find windows update make a double click on windows update set this to automatic click on apply click on start if i directed then click on ok now find gaming services make sure gaming services are running if not running make a right click click on start if highlighted or click on restart make a right click click on start if highlighted or click on restart and then find microsoft store install service make a double click set this to automatic click on apply click on start if highlighted then click on ok and then you can check now the next step is to get updates in microsoft store so go to store bottom left click on download and then you can click on check for update and if you see update all option click on update all and once everything is updated now you can try to launch minecraft launcher and then launch the game still not working the next step is to use media creation tool so if you have windows 11 go to windows 11 website if you have windows 10 go to windows 10 website and then i'm showing for windows 11 so open this link it will take you to microsoft website on here you can see scroll down you will see media creation tool click on download now and then you can run this exe file now once you run this exe file you will see the screen click on accept over here and then by default windows 11 would be selected click on next select iso file over here and then click on next save it to desktop over here and then let the download complete and this process will take some time and once the download is complete click on finish option over here and then click on next now when you click on finish over here let this close automatically do not close this manually let it close automatically once this is done go to desktop make a double click on windows iso file and make a double click on setup file run the setup file click on yes to allow and then click on next accept and here you can see ready to install by default the option to keep personal files and app would be checked when this is checked you will not lose any data uh, data on the computer so make sure this is checked and then hit install after the installation you can launch minecraft launcher and then you can check so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to launch minecraft launcher successfully on your windows computer so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel